sit here on a cold, rainy Saturday afternoon in southeast Louisiana. But fortunately, I'm inside the wood shop. And, and Saturday, nobody comes in on Saturday, so all the compressors turned off. There's no noise in here whatsoever, so I can make all the noise I want to. And today, I do want to make some noise. I really want to talk about another option that beekeepers, both new and old, have to look at when they are looking to add to their apiary, their bee yards, or as beginners, just something to start out with. And it's going to be a very interesting video, um, one that I've really <laughs> been wanting to do, uh, and now I have the opportunity to, to do it as well. Before I begin the video, I want to make one request uh, from everybody. And I made this request last Saturday when I went live, and so I'm going to be doing it periodically from time to time on, on my videos. Uh, I am asking you to help me in my honey house. And what I, what, well, it's not my honey house, it's the monk's honey house, but in, in decorating the honey house. And what I'm asking is if you would send me a label from your honey bottles. And what I, what I envision is in one of the corners of the, of the honey house where my sink is, it's a corner, and I wanna start putting on the wall people's honey labels, other than just Abbey Honey's. And to, to begin the whole thing off, I got two of them this week. Let me show you. Uh, the first one is from Andrew, Andrew Harms. And here is, here's the honey labels that Andrew sent me. Look at this. So he's got that one right there as well as this one right here. And let's see, we're, he's, he's in West, West Virginia, West Virginia. So this is Andrew's labels right here and right here. And then let me show you the other one that I got. This one is from George Watman. And here are his labels. Oh man, these are really gorgeous, gorgeous labels. Look at that. Wow, so these will be the first ones that will be going up on the wall. And what I, what I envision is to have that whole corner just plastered with everybody's honey labels because that's just like, to me, it's so nice. To me, this is just as good as receiving honey. The, uh, the labels from people that uh, beekeepers that, that bottle, sell their, their honey. Uh, I just would love to have your labels displayed in, in, our, in our honey house. So, how would you get that label to me? Well, look in the description of the video and that will then tell you how you can send to me your honey labels. And, and I really appreciate you doing that for me. Uh, and, and helping me with this this little project, but now let's get to this and this is where we're going to today We are going to be looking at what Apame has given to me when I They decide to let me go ahead and showcase a couple of their items for you and I, I'm telling you I am really um, excited about this particular hive it's a Langstroff hive but I'm very uh, interested in it because it's a plastic insulated beehive. So let me go ahead, open up these boxes and show you what you get when you order a Apame beehive. So let's go ahead and begin with the kit itself. And I'm telling you, this box is, it's heavy. It is very heavy. And all right. let me let me I'm gonna grab the camera and just show you the packaging of, of how it is in the box. So when you open the box, this is what you see. And the first thing that you see is 
a nice book. This is an actual book on App May and the different parts of the hive, how it's connected, how you assemble it. But as you can see, <laughs> there really is no assembly other than putting the box together. It's a bunch of information. I'm sure it's going to be a good read because I am going to be reading this. So the first thing is the booklet. And the next thing will be our, our lid. Oh, look at that. It's, it's, it's actually got, it's all, a, <laughs> it's got latches on it. So I'm going to be able to lift the whole hive out of the box. So let's do that. Oh, oops. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and set this up onto the table. Then in the box, we have a queen excluder right there, as well as some dividing boards right in. Now let's take a closer look at exactly what this hive looks like. Now this is a beauty. Uh, the first thing that you, you notice all the way, it's solid plastic. Now, it's not just plastic, okay? It's food grade, HDPE. It's ultraviolet protected. It's got ultraviolet protection, so it, it doesn't become uh, brittle or cracks. And not only, <clears throat> not only that, but also in the mixture of the plastic, there's anti-static. So you don't get that static buildup if you're rubbing on it. You won't, your hairs won't stand up on your wrists or your hands. Um, so those are some, some qualities about the plastic itself. Right now, the first thing, let's talk about the landing board. You have a landing board, and then you have your entrance right here. And so you have entrance reducers. You can reduce the hive to whatever size you like. Me, I like I like very small, so it's either gonna be two or three opening, that's it. And I actually probably just stay with two, two opening. But what's also nice is that it's a built-in mouse guard. Look at that. So no mice can get into your hive with with that in there. The next thing that you would notice on the front would be a there's a hole right here in the super and this dial allows you different options uh, to use that hole. You can use it as an entrance, a bees can use that for an entrance, they can use it as just ventilation right there, dial it, it's closed at that point and then at this point you can use it as a queen excluder so only, only workers can get in into that. The other thing you will notice is there's a place to put your labels to mark your hive, what, what, what number it is. Um, and then the other thing on the front that you notice right here, you may not be able to see it very well, but the APMA, APMA hives in 2015 won the gold medal at um, the World's Beekeeping Awards in Apremonia. So, I mean, in 2015, this was like the innovation of the year was this beehive. So it's not, it's not been around for a whole lot of time, but I mean, in that short period of time, it's, it's really making um, a lot of people take notice. So let's rotate it to the side and right away, you see all this heavy stuff. It's all stainless steel. It's all stainless steel. Uh, the, the handle grip, there's plastic on that, but this is all stainless. And what I, what I see about this, so you see it, it, you can lift up, unlatch it, and lift up your, your lid. Um, your, where the stainless steel plates are attached to the lid and then to the hot body. It's riveted up here at the top, goes through a solid plate, riveted through, 
and then on the bottom it's screwed into and it's the the set is the handle is inset in this little space right here so it's all nice and flush and then it's screwed into there and I'm assuming there's going to be a, a plate on the back side of this to help support that. So here's the side of it, the side view of it. Now the, uh, the rear of it looks like this and from there, I forgot to mention that on the front because it's on the front too, you have the vents up at the top, you have it, so the ventilation so it can flow through the hive through there um, and then on the bottom and this is like a, a, a built-in deal that normally you'd have to do more work to to get to it but this is part comes with it you have a tray a bottom tray and inside that tray you have another tray and and this tray right here is for a pollen trap right here. This tray right here is for the pollen trap. And I'll, I'll show you a little bit later on, but you can take out your pollen trap and just use this as uh, a tray. You put dietitious earth in there uh, to catch uh, the beetles that fall down and you slide the tray back in there. And then this little stopper goes inside of the groove Oh, you got to first take out the board, and then this will go inside of there, and now it closes off. So if you don't want to use the, the pollen trap, which is, I'll show you this in a bit, then you put in your blocker right here, and the bees will propolize that, and they'll keep all that in there. So that's, that's the rear, rear of it, and then the other side, oh, you've already seen all this. So. With that being said, let's go ahead and take off the lid and show you what's under the, <laughs> what's under the hood, huh? As you look at the, the lid right here, uh, the first thing that catches my eye is, is this groove right here. And that is for a strap. If you want to use a strap, you can put your strap down around there. The second thing that I notice, well, <laughs> again, you have on each corner, you have one of the gold medal awards uh, stamped inside the lid on each one of the sides right here. Um, and then also I noticed that they've, they've got the top configured so that you can stack another one right on top of this and strap that two of them or three of them or however high uh, if you want to move them. And one of the really nice things about this hive, uh, this setup, is that the whole hive can be contained together because of these straps. So let's go ahead and open up the lid and see the surprises underneath it. All right, uh, so here's the inside of the lid and let me show you, if I can get, get it on that camera. Let's see, uh, we have the, the vented grooves, now let's say I'll try it this way, there you go, where you can see daylight through that and also, let me flip it over so you can see how it really looks, um, the grooves are facing, sloping outward down so that any moisture, any rain would not be able to go inside of the hive but it'll, uh, as we used to always say in woodwork, it, uh, you always point the, the wood in the direction of rain out. So when it would hit the fin, instead of going in the hive, it would then exit the hive. So this is on each end of the cover, or this, this vent right here. Very nice. Now the next thing, next thing we're looking at are internal feeders. Now these are really nice, and you notice it's two of them. It isn't a single internal feeder, it's two of them. And there, there's, there's a reason, and I'll show you in a bit, why um, they have the setup as two of them instead of one. Now they do sell a single feeder. I know that was one of the options. 
um, but in this configuration, it's two separate feeders. And what's very nice about this, these feeders is that it, it's, you can either use liquid or solid in your tray right here. And depending on what type of material, whether it be fondant, whether it be syrup, sugar water, whatever, depending on what you're using inside the tray area right here, would then correspond with how you're going to use the, the plastic covering to prevent the bees from either entering into the tray area or keeping them underneath the tray itself and just feeding on, on the, the syrup that's inside. So this, you can see, let me show you, oops, <laughs> that the sides, let me hold that right, there you go, the sides have different length. You have a short side and you have a long side. And depending on what type of liquid uh, material you're putting in that tray would depend on which side is facing out. Because on the long side prevents the bees from exiting and on the short, on the short side they're allowed to e exit. So if you place the long side down, this would be for feeding the bees a syrup and if you reversed it, placed it this way, the bees could then get out from the bottom, come into the area right here and eat whatever the sugar, the fondant, whatever you, solid uh, patties, whatever you put up here. Because, let me show you, if you put the lid one way, you have a space underneath right here where the bees can, can walk up from the inside come out and then get inside the tray and if you reverse this then you see they aren't allowed to they aren't able to get outside and they can only stay in that top and then they're able to feed on the liquid that's inside of this area right here and also another feature of the feeder um, you can see the ventilation holes all around. So when the feeder is in place on the hot body, you have ventilation all the way around it. Now, of course, <laughs> the bees will close that stuff up if they need to or let it stay open however they want to regulate the the airflow inside the hive, uh, they, they know how to do that. So uh, the two feeders, very, very, very nice feature. So now let's remove the feeders and show you the inside. Now, as you can tell, I've replaced the pollen trap right here. And I'll show you, now that we're looking down at it, I can show you better how it works. Now these, these are um, frame separators. These are frame separators. And I'll show you how these things work in just a second. Well, let's talk about the pollen trap. Now, like I said, I had put it back in. And what happens for the, how this pollen trap works, the bees enter at the front of the hive. And as they come through, let me show you, let me take this out and show you that. As they come through the entrance, the feeder itself, the feeder itself is elevated. So the bees pass. <laughs> the bees pass in this space underneath here. You see the sides? So it's elevated up above and the bees pass underneath and then when they get to the holes right here they crawl through and as they crawl through then that knocks the pollen off of their legs and the pollen falls down it goes through this screened area right here and boom lands right into your pollen trap which is underneath that this is a built-in feature this is so 
so cool to have this. Um, and it's, it's, it's in the hive, which is incredible to me. And all you need to do, to if you want to use it, you slide it in. And when you, when you don't want to use it, you pull it out. And now you have a, your whole screen bottom right here. It's, it's just such a simple way of doing this. Yeah. Remember when I told you about the handles, these the handles on the, on the two sides. And I said that there's probably a plate. Well, sure enough, look at the plate inside of here. So you have on the outside, you have the plate that is screwed through. And on the inside, you have another steel plate so that there's a tremendous amount of strength in this. Instead of just going through the body and anchoring into the, into the plastic and the insulation inside of there, it goes all the way through. And this is a very, very, very strong way of doing it, which is why you, this hive can support the weight if you want to move the whole thing by the handles. These handles can really support a lot of weight. This is that the bottom board is attached to the super. And how that's done, I assume that it is pressed into the board because it, it looks like it just sat, was, was pressed right down into it. That's what I assume that there's a lip right here and here and all the way around. And they push this deep onto this screen, this screen bottom board right here. And now it becomes a solid unit. I want you to notice this right here as well as this one right here. And what that is, is the area, oh, and, and then this bar right here. Now, if our pollen trap is set in place, let me, let me slide that in. And there is a, there is a, a proper way of, of putting this in. Uh, you really can't put it backwards because on one end, they have a lip right here to grab it with. And the other end, it's open, so it won't even it, it won't even go into the opening this way. And by slipping the pollen trap in like that, this is this is how we do it to set the pollen trap like that, and not to use it. You just pull it out. But to use our boards, our dividing boards in here to make two separate hives if we so choose or just for one hive to share pheromone we have to remove the feeder. Let me show, let me show you the two dividing boards that come with the kit and you'll notice that this bottom one is about an inch longer than this one and so there is this bottom board is longer for a reason and that reason is so that when you take that board and you slide it in between those grooves that extra length on the bottom goes into the track right here and now the bees can no longer cross over. If you were to use the other board slide the other board in there and you could but if you did that, you have all this space that the bees can travel back and forth through and it, the board wouldn't serve any purpose. So in the bottom box, you need to place the longer board in between and remove the pollen feeder. Now there's three settings on this board. You have a solid one where the bees don't share pheromone or anything. You have a queen excluder right here and then just a ventilation. So there's three settings. Each wheel has the same setting and there's three settings. So depending on what you want to do, um, you can set these wheels to that specific purpose and insert it into it. Now what I, what I envision with this is I, I probably won't be using this. Um, however, come winter time, it, it may come to use, but my plan is to catch a swarm in the early spring and 
grow these bees and hopefully we'll even actually get honey off that swarm the first year. So I'll probably not use this board. Now to use this board, it will you have to forego two of your frames. So what about the frames? Now AppleMate does sell wooden uh, plastic frames and there may be some in that nuke so we'll see if we get to some of those. Um, but you can see how easily the wooden frames work inside it. Let me get that. Now like I said, it will only fit four frames on each side. Man, this is so nice. You can, you can have actually two, two nukes going on at the same time. And because our entrance are separated right here, they each have their own entrances. Now, I saw at the show this year, because they showed it to me, that they now have the entrance reducers so that there is a, this would be solid and this would have this little shape in it. Uh, that way you can separate the two separate colonies inside of there and their, their entrances are far enough apart where you wouldn't be getting drifting from either side because if you can imagine the openings being this close to each other it'd be very easy for a field bee to wander into the hole that it <laughs> well it's not supposed to be going into so they they do sell that and what's really nice all this is just all screwed out you just unscrew it so it's all stainless steel stuff it's not going to rust and you just pop into um, a, the different type of entrance. So all it, all the new version is is that this spot is reversed with this spot. So you have this is blocked and this is your entrance. Another, they're very adaptable. These hives are very adaptable. So getting back to our now two nukes inside of here. We can then, if we want to, just keep it just like that to grow a nuke. And if we want to, we could add another super to that. Add the second board, which would then connect all the way down to here. And, well, in fact, let me show you, because I got the other super. Let me show you that. Now, because of this aligning feature, when you flip that box over and set it on it it almost locks it in it does it locks it in so no longer are you going to have your super sliding or they're not going to be aligned because that lip that the way they've designed that is, is just incredible and so with our next deep in place if we want to grow this little nuke into an eight frame nuke and then transfer those frames into either eight or ten frame box we now have the capacity because we drop in our other board and it sits right on top of the other one so the bees can't cross over. So you could, you could grow, I mean, what an what a awesome feature. Uh, it's like so impressive. Now, I want to show you one more thing. Let me take this off. And I'm going to add two more frames to that. I want to show you these spacer bars. I love these spacer bars. I'm going to order me about a hundred of these things, I think. So you put the spacer bar in, and it works with the wood frames or the, the, the frames that, that Apame sells. But since I'm using all wood frames, I mean, you have the perfect spacing of your frames. It's like these are these are little gems right here. So let me uh, let me show you uh, <laughs> another great thing. So what's really nice about these boxes, you can you don't have to have an insulated box for that. You can just throw on your regular wooden super right on top of it. Now granted it's not going to be locked in. You may have to strap it in but you can add a wooden super right on top and this for me would be my honey super right here. So 
another awesome, awesome feature that even though there are different sizes on the outside, inside everything lines up and it's perfect for that. So another, another flexible option that you have with the Apame highs. Very, very nice. So we're going to put our feeders on because this actually is part of that lid. Put our feeder trays on. Put our lid on. And at that point, we can start locking things down. Um, one thing I did they do tell you that on, on the lids, uh, the, the plates, there's two notches, um, one below and one above. And depending on whether you have uh, um, an excluder or, or, speaking of the excluder, let me show you that thing first. I've removed the feeder trays and these are the excluders that come with the kit. Now, I don't use excluders in, in our hives. But to tell you the truth, this really is a nice excluder. All the edges right here are rounded so that the bees, when they do pass through that, they're not going to tear their wings out. That's really nice. It's very smooth. Most of these, at least plastic ones, are they're, they're rough. You can feel the roughness of them. Uh, the metal ones are, are smoother, but the plastic ones aren't so much. You, as you drag your hand across, you can feel the roughness. So if you can feel that, imagine how that bee is feeling when it tries to pass through that space. Then on the back side of this, let me see if I can show you, there's all these little feet that are sticking up. And these little feet, what, what that does, when you place it on your super, those feet rest on the frames underneath it so this thing cannot compress sticking to the frames that are on it because that's it's always a, an issue when you pull your excluder off that it's just like it's, but these because they, they propolized all that they waxed it but with these little feet it really should greatly reduce that now because I don't use excluders even in my honey supers uh, we're just going to go ahead and place the lid back on onto our deep right here now remember the Internal feeders are part of the lid itself, so they have to go on there. They have to go on there. And on each one of these lip catches, you have two not two spaces, one, one below and one above. And depending on, on whether you put the uh, excluder in there, you'd have to use a bottom space, and if you don't, you would use a top space. And what happens is when you put that lid on there and you push your lid down, you can feel that, this, that it's not real tight. So we can, we know we're on the, in the right spot. Because if it was real tight, that would be too much. So we lock that one down. Uh, we don't, because we don't have anything, our excluder in the second one, we can actually go to the top notch. Lock that one down, lock this one down, and look at this. You can lift the whole assembly. Now this is so sweet when you need to move a hive. This is so easy to close up your hive. Close it up, make sure all your entrances are closed, and now the whole entire hive can be moved if you wanted to. This thing is so strong, they, they advertise it as, as like a bear deterrent uh, because uh, a, a bear coming in there, and I've seen videos on it, it's terrible. When the bear comes in, they knock the hive over, the hive separates. This thing, there is no way that this hive is going to separate. That bear would have to have gone to school to learn how to unlock <laughs> something to be able to get, get into these hives. So another awesome, awesome feature about this hive. I believe that about covers the features on the 10 frame hive. So let's go ahead and open up the uh, 
seven frame nuke box and see what features they have on this one. Now, I see on the box that it says it's the nucleus BHOG with frames. So it has the frames on it. So again, this is the Ergo Plus, which was that one, it was the Ergo Plus hog. So this is the Ergo Plus, but this one is a seven frame nuke instead. Uh, first thing I notice is <laughs> it's beige in color. Oh, there you go. Second thing, right there. Another book. The Apame 7 frame hive nuke. And again, some good read material, the, the components as they break it down. And they say simple assembly. It couldn't get any simpler because everything comes assembled. It's, it's, it's just like beautiful. Now they, they are talking the assembly of, of the frames and I'll go over those options because those frames are pretty good. Uh, you can have it for uh, mating for queens, for rearing queens, and then using the feeder. And then this is all the options that you can get with that. Now let's pull this little nuke out of the box. And this thing is pretty heavy as well. Turn it over on its side. There you go, that's a lot easier. So, so nice. Wow. And then inside of the box is another divine. <laughs> Let's open up this bad girl and see what she's going to show us. Yeah, that is. That's a sweet looking nuke. And of course, the first thing you would notice is well, yep, it's made out of the same plastic. Thing is tough as nails. I mean, the features are very similar to the 10 frame, uh, but you notice right away on this one that it actually is set up that you can have uh, two three frame nukes inside of that as well. Also, oh, look at this. So on, on the hive entrance, uh, remember I told you that they came out the new stuff and that's exactly what they did here on this. So now they've separated the entrances. They've spread them apart Instead of whereas on the other one, they're very close together. These, they're real almost designed to have uh, entrance for one half, entrance for the other half. Uh, you have your, your dial that, again, a queen excluder all the way open. Ventilation are just blocked up. And each one of those have a wheel. Each side has a wheel. And as we rotate it, same construction, stainless steel latch. I mean, it's heavy duty, heavy duty stuff right here. On the back side, look at that. On the back side, they give you the options with the wheels as well. You can uh, exclude her, wide open, vented, or shut. So you can have almost like flow through ventilation. <laughs> uh, another opening. Uh, so there's options they give you. Me, I, I, I really don't do any of that stuff. I'm going to keep mine closed almost all the time. But I do love the, the idea of having two, three frame uh, nukes going on at the same time. That's because very often I'll, I'll catch tiny little swarms or if a hive is reduced down uh, to two or three frames, these are great to start them back up again. And then on the, the fourth side, it's just repeated that side. Oh, on the back side, there is no pollen feeder, uh, po pollen trap on this. It's just a bottom tray. And you can see it's, it's slotted to allow uh, moisture um, and, and ventilation to get into that hive. <laughs> And then we'll just turn it back over to the front. Front and back are very much the same other than the front has a landing board and then the entrance to it. Let me throw this, not throw it, but I could. And let me set it on the ground and we'll open it up and see what we have inside. Oh, 
All right. Let's pop the hood on this thing and see what we got. Oh, look at that. Again, inside we have the vented ends on both sides. This, this lid, has got to weigh 10 pounds. <clears throat> and again, they have their gold medal award imprinted on the plastic. Very, very nice. And again, two feeders. Now the other feeders were, each one was, I believe, a half a gallon. And each one, these look like they're They'll hold a half of a half, a quarter of a gallon uh, in these. But it's the same, same deal. Move that lid. You can put your sugar, your fondant, your, your syrup in here. And depending on what you put inside of here, would then you would have to decide on which uh, opening you want to use. And we took, oh, and look at that. That's what I was hope to show you all are their frames. These are the frames that they manufacture and they are plastic frames. Uh, let's go ahead and move the camera and, and I want to show you um, what these frames are all about. And here is one of the frames that they manufacture and what it is, it's a single frame but the way it's built is it's built in two pieces and what you would do is you would split them and use see if we can use this hive, hive tool to do that. They're very tight. It is it is tight. I don't think you could do this with your hand. Let me try this side. You have to get the opening between and then just start popping it apart. I can imagine that the bees would propolize that stuff up. <laughs> it would be a mess to open up. But this is what you get. And at this point, you could either place a, um, a starting wax strip across the top, uh, a whole sheet of wax, or what I'm going to be doing, uh, putting plastic foundation in them. And so you would just set inside of the opening and you can tell when it's in there right because there's actually a line all the way around that it's centered right and you just pop it back together as long as you have everything lined up right that's it look all solid and now you have a plastic foundation in there. Uh, another thing that, that would be great um, for this is when I do removals, cutouts. And because of these little bars right here, I could put smaller sections of comb in there if I only had smaller sections. Um, it, and then rubber band them and this would allow the comb, give the comb a little bit of support. So these are really cool, cool frames. But I really do like my wooden. But this is a nice little option, nice little option. So let's remove the rest of our frames and show you what they're looking like inside of the box. Again, look at that. You've got the plates on the opposite sides of where our clasps are. Uh, this is very, very, very good construction. You've got um, about one inch of insulation. They, they say that these are like six and a half to seven R value, which is awesome. Um, and then on the bottom you see it's all vented for airflow. And then on, on the bottom part to allow debris to pass through that you can then catch it um, on the, in the tray or have beetles fall through there. And, you put the diatesis earth in there. Um, you, you can put that in there and they'll take care of whatever falls into it for sure. So very, very nice setup. So let's go see what happens when we add the 
dividing board. And again, they give you the three options of whether it's going to be solid, ventilation, or excluder. And you know, obviously if you're going to have two hives in there for me, I would I would always keep it all closed up. We don't want to be sharing anything except some heat. Drop our board in there. And now you've got a three-frame nuke. I probably last year uh, probably put at least three hives into a two-frame box. So yeah, I would use this for that purpose. Um, I probably am going to be reserving this for that purpose. And I'll probably be buying another um, hive body uh, to add to it to, to really grow those bees. But this, to me, wow, that's, that's a... Um, a great, great deal. It really is very nice. And then, let's see, I don't know if their feeders work with that slot in there. I would imagine they will. Yep. So even with the tray in there, feeders still attach. Perfect. And we can put our lid back on. That is a done deal. This is sweet. Another awesome product by Appen All right, got one more thing to show you. And this, this, is, this goes right up my, uh, this is a part that is really, really interesting for me. So let me show you this. Here's the last thing I want to show you. This is the Appen version of a screen bottom board. Let's go ahead and open it up and I'll show you the goodies that are inside of here. thing. <laughs> Your Apame wooden hive upgrade kit. Now when I did it I, I just I just have the screen bottom. The kit will include a feeder and also a lid. So that, that's the kit. But all I've got is the bottom board uh, for, for a wooden box. And let me show you this. First thing it's a landing board uh, that will attach. It hinges on these two little points, sets in there. Boom, there it is. There's your landing board right there. The uh, next thing is your entrance reducer right here. And this attaches at this point right here and after you put it on you set your box in you can screw it to the box this way and then right here you see the entrances here closed here and then of course just like the other one they'll go into a pollen trap right here now this little contraption, this is how you can, you mount this on your box, and then this would then serve to lock your box and your bottom board, uh, your screen board together with this mount up on the top. So let's show you the pollen trap. Same, it's just the same as the other one. There's no difference other than this one. 
a little bit shorter, a little bit shorter than that one. And it sits in the tray a little bit different. Same deal when you pull out your trap, you just insert that into the hole the trap was in, and it's good. So let's go ahead and, and put a high body on this and see what it looks like. So here we got our high body, and it would sit right there on top of that. These two screws go into that, bringing the hive right to our entrance, and then this screw right here would bring our entrance reducer to that as well. Now, how, how do we prevent the body from sliding back and forth? Well, if we look underneath that, look at this. They've got provided screws for us to be able to do that as well. So once you get your hard body in place, you lock it down in the front. Once it's locked down in the front, go around on the bottom and screw up into your wood along the edges, and then that's going to lock it in. Now, let me let me show you <laughs> another good thing. You remember, I, I said I just bought, I just got the, um, I didn't buy it. I just got the bottom board is all I got, but it also you can also, when you get the kit, you get a bunch of other uh, pluses. So let me show you what you get with the kit because I'm just going to take that off of the uh, other hive. When you buy the kit, it also includes the feeders that sit right inside, just like that, and your lid, which would sit right over, over like that. Now they also include in the kit the hardware, the, the latches to, to latch your bottom, your, your box to the bottom board and your box to your, your cover as well. So to me, it's almost like a no-brainer about these bottom boards. They offer the ventilation of this system, which is incredible. Um, and I know I haven't talked about price, but I gotta tell you about the price of this. The, the price of just a screen board is $65. $65 just for the bottom board. Then if you buy the kit, which includes the cover and, and the feeders, that's $145. And even if you go to Man Lake and buy a bottom board, it's $40. A lid is $40. But with, with that, you don't get an internal feeder and you don't get a pollen trap as well. So it's like these bonuses that you get with it offset the price that you pay for it. And the other really bonus is this material is almost like forever. It's, it's because it's plastic, it's thermal, uh, it's food grade. It, I just can't sing its praises enough. It's just an incredible deal. And I, I, I actually plan on buying a bunch of these things. They, they, they offer, you can buy, if you buy six of these um, screen bottom boards, they come up to be like $55 a piece. Um, so I'll probably be getting six of them. And you still can use your regular telescopic cover with no feeders, or, or if you want to get the kit, you could um, purchase that as well. So let's go ahead and wrap this review up. Now here is the lineup, man. This I, I don't know if you can tell, but I was really, really impressed with this product. It 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 really goes so far beyond the conventional beekeeping equipment. But it's not that it just goes beyond because they they think of the bees' interest in this as well as the beekeepers interest in the way the hives are built using that um, the UV protected plastic, food grade plastic, um, the insulation with all values six plus, on, it's not seven but 6.8 something like that, um, the, the 
integrated pest management with um, inside of it, the internal feeders. It, 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 there's just so many, the, the durability, the, the cohesiveness, the integrity of, of these boxes when they're uh, assembled and latched. Uh, it, it just, it just, uh, it takes the words out of my mouth. Uh, I, I, I can't express my pleasure with this product. Now, along with something that is this nice, you definitely, it's definitely going to be, you, you'll pay for it. But my logic in offsetting that difference in cost is that, that the hive itself, the, the material, the way it's constructed, th this is a forever box. Um, wood, if you're lucky, has, has if, about a 10 year maximum life to it. That goes for every component. The box, the, the bottom board, the lids, all that stuff have, uh, you know, if you get 10 years, you did good. This, you get 40 years, 50 years out of this, and it's still going to look like this. Uh, being that it's plastic, I was thinking about that, how wax moth, when wax moth get into a hive, they, they can't burrow into the plastic. So the cleanup on these things would be incredibly easy. There's just so many pluses. And to me, the pluses, if, if you're a um, considering um, buying bee equipment, uh, even if you're an, uh, uh, an old time beekeeper, the pluses on these things far outweigh uh, the cost difference. And so I, I know that like in that review that I did last time, the most expensive one was about $280, $270. Um, well, for this setup right here, I believe it was, uh, let me see, I wrote it down. Yeah, this, this setup was $370 for this right here. Yeah, that, that's, that's a big chunk of change. This little, this little nuke right here, this little nuke was $210. And then, like I said before, the screen bottom board was 65. But when you consider everything, the price that you pay for these products, it's it's worth it. It it, it really is. Um, I, I I know for the majority of beekeepers that I know that this this is would be out of their league. But if you're it it does there is a place for it for a lot of beekeepers. And I think that um, a beginning beekeeper should really look into this and, and consider spending the extra money on it because of the durability and the quality that you will get for that money you spend. Um, and if you're only buying, you know, you're only going to get two hives or one hive or three hives, it, it's, it's not the end of the world. Uh, it, it, it can be done. I'm not saying it's not going to be easy, but it can be done. And in the long run, uh, you're going to really, really be happy with the product that you receive. So I've, I've really got to thank Corhan and Alda from Apame um, spending all that time with me at Hive Life Conference. Um, they, they, they gave me a lot of their time. They, they went over the features, explained um, everything about it. Oh, I didn't say that, that they're based out of Arizona. The company is based out of Arizona. But I, I, I believe that all the, the parts are manufactured in Turkey. Um, but it's based out of, out of California. One, oh, one other thing about the, um, the plastic that it can withstand temperatures of 110 degrees without cracking or getting brittle. This, this stuff, it, it's, it's space age stuff. It's, it's really great. So that's all I have for you in this one. So I'm, I'm happy to offer this uh, for, for your food for thought and maybe uh, <laughs> for your dreams as well. But this is an option that is out there and it is definitely worth considering. So again, thanks for watching. Keep on watching, and I'll be making more. God bless. Mr. Ed, I'm out here until the next video.